Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us start this lecture with a thought process. A man can attain perfection only when undergoing trial and tribulation of life willingly. Most of us, we uh, do not want to have trial and tribulations and which are very uh, much part of life. And when we will gleefully uh, undergo the transformation during this uh, trial and tribulation will definitely get a lot of strength to have perfection in our life, which is the main objective of human life. <clears throat> so, uh, let us recall what we learnt in the last lecture. We basically looked at the combustion of solid fuel uh, and um, uh, in the process we learned that there are two kinds of regime. One is the kinetically controlled regime of combustion, other is the diffusionally controlled combustion. And today, we will be uh, discussing about the diffusional theory of carbon combustion. If you recall that uh, we had uh, discussed about various assumptions, what we can make to simplify the problem. And one of them of course, is that we are considering carbon combustion and uh, if you recall that it is uh, one of the simplest one because it is not pyrolyzing fuel. That means, the uh, combustion what will be taking place on the surface of the carbon sphere what I have shown here. And uh, unlike in a pyrolyzing fuel in which there will be volumetric devolatilization, here the carbon will be uh, devolatilized on the surface, this is the surface of the carbon itself. Therefore, it is very simpler uh, one to analyze. Beside this, we have assumed that the particle to be spherical in nature. In real situation, it need not to be. And we are considering uh, all other effects along the other direction. If you take a sphere, that we can take a coordinate system of r, theta, and pi. And along this uh, theta direction, right, we have neglected the variation of various properties. So, also in the phi, the only along the r direction which I have shown here, like uh, the properties will be varying. And uh, keep in mind that uh, we are considering this sphere basically under a quiescent atmosphere. That means, there is no motion of fluid around it, which is not the case in practical application, unless otherwise you are conducting experiment in laboratory in a very controlled condition or controlled environment, then only it is possible, otherwise it is not. And we are assuming also the steady state burning of the carbon sphere, rather it is quasi steady state as I had mentioned earlier. So, uh, therefore, you know it is also simplified. And we are considering the diffusional process, because we are considering that burning of carbon will be dictated by the amount of oxygen which will be diffusing in from the ambient condition right toward the carbon surface right. So, for this purposes what we will do? We will basically uh, invoke the various conservation equation. And first of all, we will uh, consider the mass conservation equation. 
mass conservation. If you consider mass conservation uh, uh, for one dimensional uh, situation, you will get of course, under the steady state condition, you will get d by d r rho v r r square is equal to 0. Keep in mind that the velocity which, which the fluid will be or the gas will be going out here with v r. v r is the gas velocity along r direction and rho is the density of gas and uh, if I if I say this is equation 1, if I uh, the equation 1 basically if I integrate and then you will find that it is basically implies that uh, that is uh, equation 1 I can write down becomes rho v r r square is equal to constant. What is the meaning? If you look at rho v r, this term is nothing but your mass flux term, right. That is mass flux, mass flow rate per unit surface area at various direction at various location from the center of the sphere, if you see that into the r square that is area will be remaining constant, right. So, therefore, it is constant. What is indicating? It is indicating that mass flow rate at each r location it will be remaining constant. However, the mass flux will be inversely proportional to r square. Therefore, mass flux will be changing with respect to r as uh, the radius increases. Therefore, the mass flux will be decreasing that you should keep in mind. And as I told that oxygen plays a very important role for the combustion of the carbon sphere that we are considering now. Uh, as we are only interested in diffusional kind of combustion. So, therefore, we will have to invoke the uh, oxygen conservation equation, right. So, if you consider basically oxidizer species conservation, keep in mind that the momentum equation we are not considering here because of fact that in one dimensional it turns out to be pressure remain constant along the uh, what you call r direction. So, therefore, uh, it is not really required. So, and it is atmospheric combustion so, that we have already seen for the liquid uh, uh, droplet combustion. So, therefore, we are not considering the momentum conservation equation. However, we will be considering the oxidizer species conservation equation and uh, considering that no combustion takes place in the gas phase uh, for no combustion rather as no combustion is taking place in gas phase, then the species conservation equation turns out to be balance between the convection and diffusion. That is basically m dot double dash r square, this is nothing but your mass uh, flow rate which will remain constant I can say uh, from the continuity equation d r is equal to rho d 1 by 2 
d by d r r square d y o x by d r. Keep in mind that where y x is the mass fraction of oxidizer and uh, if you look at uh, the d 1 2 is the mass diffusivity between oxidizer and uh, fuel and uh, of course, density I have already defined density of the gas and uh, this region is basically gas region around the sphere. In this equation 2, if you consider that this term is basically due to convection like and this term is basically diffusion term you can consider as the mass diffusion term and as I told earlier that uh, oxidizer species equation basically the balance between the convection and diffusion of the oxidizer and as there is uh, no uh, chemical reaction takes place in the gas phase. Now, we will consider the energy conservation equation in the similar fashion and similar condition that is nothing but your nothing but the uh, balance between the uh, heat conduction and also the uh, also the heat convection. So, that is the m dot r square C p and d t by d r is equal to k g by d r r square d t by d r. Keep in mind that the C p is where C p specific heat and uh, K g is the thermal conductivity. Of course, T is the gas temperature. and uh, keep in mind the thermodynamic properties are remaining constant along with the radial direction which is not true because the cp is a function of temperature so also the thermal conductivity but however for simplicity reason we have kept it constant and therefore i have taken out from this differentiation of the first term and so also the second term uh, so, now what we will do and this uh, this is basically the equation 3, what we will do we will have to integrate the equation 2 with the following boundary condition. The boundary condition what we can look at it basically little later on let us uh, integrate the equation 2, integrating equation 2 we can have is uh, basically what we can get is m dot the r square I can take it out because that remain constant we have seen uh, this is d y o x by d r into d r and we are integrating between the 
surface this is the plane surface R to R is equal to rho d 1 2 again I can take con out because I am keep, keeping this as a constant rho d 1 to d by d r r square y by x d r into d r this is at the surface of the carbon to any r. So, uh, I can say this is equation 4. Now, what we will do? We will have to look at uh, apply basically uh, boundary condition uh, for this equation 4. If you look at boundary conditions and uh, what are that at r is equal to infinity that means very far away this is your r very far away around the infinity where there is not much changes is occurring. So, what we can say we can say y o x is equal to y o x infinity and also uh, the gradient will be 0 if I just plot this uh, from here the center and at this point this is basically r by r equal to 1 euro and this is infinity if I consider that oxygen level will be basically it is attaining something infinity value is remaining constant as y o x infinity and this gradient is 0 at this point like you can say that d y o x by d r is equal to 0. And at r is equal to r that is at the surface this is basically uh, at uh, surface of carbon carbon what you will get we will get basically mass flux of oxidizer at A is, is nothing but your diffusivity and flux y o x d r at I can say that is the surface which is nothing but your r is r small r divided by capital R is equal to 1 minus m dot s y o x at surface. Basically one can say also that this is nothing but your m dot s is equal to m dot carbon at surface at carbon surface basically I can write down that also. So, this is your constitutive equation and uh, we can say that this is basically uh, 5 and then this is equation 6 and there is a another thing. So, we need to look at it one is the stoichiometric equation that is F is nothing but your fuel to oxidizer ratio is m s divided by that oxidizer at s s means at the surface of this carbon that is s we are using symbol this is basically s means surface of the carbon so uh, therefore i can write down equation 6 becomes equation 6 s by f is nothing but your 2 d y o x d r surface minus m dot s y o x s. So, I can say this is a basical equation 7 and uh, when we will consider this uh, by uh, integrating this uh, equation and substituting that uh, in equation 4. That means, by substituting equation 7 in equation 4, we can get by 
using equation 7 in equation 4, we can get this way that is basically m dot r square y o x minus uh, is r square y o x. In the beginning, I am not substituting equations, I am just writing so that it will be simplified rho d 1 to r square d y o x by d r minus rho d 1 to r square at the surface d y o x by d r at s. So, uh, if you look at this, I can write down that basically uh, I can take this out basically rho d uh, and then this term and this term if you recognize that basically nothing but your m dot s by f this t term together. So, I can write down this m dot r square y o x minus rho d 1 to r square d y o x by d r is equal to basically minus m dot s by f. In other words, I can write down that as rho d 1 to r square d y o x d r minus I can just rewriting that r square y o x is nothing but your m dot s by f. So, this is we got it and this I am saying it is equation 8. And keep in mind that uh, this is remaining constant according to continuity equation look at this one. This I can write down as m dot r square. Now, if I will do that then I uh, equation 8 becomes and this I can write down due to continuity which uh, mass flow rate remain constant along the radial direction. So, then I can write down rho d 1 to r square d y o x by d r is equal to basically m dot s r square I can take it out there will be some r square here r square then what I will get I will get y o x plus 1 by f. So, this is the equation I am getting and let me call it as equation 9. Now, what we will do we will basically integrate again this equation to get an expression for uh, mass fraction of oxidizer. And if we will uh, by integrating nine, we can get x by y o x plus one by f equal to s r square rho d 1 by 2 d r by r and this is uh, uh, we are integrating. So, what we will get? We will get basically l n y x plus 1 by f is equal to minus m dot s r square rho d 1 by 2 1 by r plus c. 
and this is the equation 10. What we need? We will have to apply the boundary condition to for getting this c constant. This is basically a constant. So, by applying b c boundary condition particularly at r is equal to infinity, we know that y o x is nothing but your y x at infinity. So, if we do that, what we will get equation 10 becomes ln y o x infinity plus 1 by f, because this term will be 0 and when uh, this term will be 0 is equal to uh, r is infinity. So, therefore, this term if you look at this term I am just writing for simplicity 1 by r, r is infinity this is basically infinity therefore, this will be 0 is plus c. So, therefore, equation 10 becomes ln y o x plus 1 by f is equal to minus s r square d 1 by 2 1 by r plus ln o x infinity plus 1 by f. So, uh, if we will just take this term to the left hand side, I will get ln y o x plus 1 by f divided by y o x infinity 1 by f is equal to m dot s r square by rho d 1 to 1 by r and uh, at the surface of fuel in this case carbon that is r is equal to r. So, equation 11 becomes I can write down basically that is r square by rho d 1 2 1 by r of course, this will be minus right and uh, if you consider this as ln um, if I will I can write down uh, just opposite of that. So, that y o x infinity plus 1 by f divided by y o x plus 1 by f keep in mind that this become plus. So, therefore, uh, this will cancel it out I can write down this is nothing but your r y rho d 1 2 is equal to ln y o x infinity plus 1 by f divided by y x plus 1 by f. This is your equation 12. So, we now have basically got a relationship between the various terms like mass flux, uh, mass flux uh, of the uh, which is max uh, relationship between the uh, mass fraction of oxidizer and also the mass flux and uh, diffusivity. In the next lecture, uh, what we will do? We will look at also what happens at the fuel surface and then uh, we will derive an expression for uh, mass fraction of oxidizer. Now, we will stop over. Thank you very much. <coughs>